How is everyone this morning? You can hear me? Okay, good. Okay, for new Zoom members, my name is Steve Avellino, certified fitness trainer, corrective exercise specialist, and specialist in senior fitnesses with the International Sports Sciences Association. I have a company called Reverse the Aging Processes. In the last year, I've worked with over 800 seniors, uh, balance, posture, pain relief, different things. This is going to be obviously the glute workshop, uh, which is super important. I've seen so many of my private clients that I haven't seen four or five of the virus who now have balance and stability issues because their glutes, muscles of the buttocks have shut off uh, from all the sitting. Um, I just started working with a new client yesterday morning, serious balance issues. We started doing some glute work and at the end of the half hour, she was standing up much straighter because all we did was wake up these muscles. Okay, so let's start off with a heel squeeze, please. So you may want to get to the back of your chair so you can hold on for stability. You don't have to wear this for the heel squeeze. You can keep it on if you already have it on. Now, Zoom people. Hold on to something for stability. I want your heels touching. And all you're going to do is squeeze your heels together. And you're going to feel your glutes, your muscles in the buttocks contract. Jeannie, make sure the heels are touching. Because you want to squeeze the heels together. You're not thinking about the glutes at this point in time. You're just thinking about squeezing the heels together. Everybody feel the contraction. OK, relax. Stay in that position, please. Okay, heels together. Squeeze the heels together, you feel the glutes contract. Heels aren't touching, Jeannie. Okay, there you go. So squeeze the heels together. Okay, good. This is an excellent move to do if you are in an airplane. Flying is one of the worst things for our body, as we well know. As soon as you get off the plane, you feel awful. I will get up, I'll hold on to my seat for stability, put my heels together, and just pretend I'm looking around, and then put together and activate the glutes. Okay, relax, and we're going to do one more set. Heels together. Lightly squeeze them and you feel your glutes contract. Everybody feels your, feel your glutes contracting? The reason this is helpful on the airplane is because when the glutes are active, they support the lower back. Okay, now we're gonna spread the feet a little bit. And now we're going to actively squeeze our glutes together. When you do that, your pelvis should come forward about a half an inch quarter of an inch maybe, relax and squeeze. So I can see your pelvis coming forward. And if you notice when you do that, all of a sudden your posture gets really stable. You have the bouncer at the nightclub stance. <laughs> okay, relax. And squeeze the glutes. For some of you, when you squeeze the glutes, you're gonna feel it in here. These are your hip flexors fighting that movement. So our hip flexors, hip flexion is sitting. When we're doing this, we're almost putting in the hips in extension. And that's why these muscles here are fighting you. Uh, by the end of the class, they will have loosened up. That's a really cool stance. It, that's a, a don't mess with me stance. <laughs> okay, one more time. Squeeze the glutes nice and hard. How many people feel the abdominals contracting as well? You have to remember to breathe, right? Yes, please do. <laughs> so what's happening? Cracking the glutes, the abdominals are starting to fire and we're connecting the upper body to the lower body. And we're gonna be doing a lot of that in the next program uh, where we're gonna start changing your joint architecture. 
We're going to connect the lower body to the upper body. And Janet, correct? Janet was asking me about the next program starting December 1st. You can have someone who has a 10 pound dumbbell and can do presses all day long, but then be in a car, reach into the back seat to grab a five pound pocketbook, and all of a sudden there's a shoulder issue. And the reason for that is because we are weak in at end range of motion. So the next program, we're going to be trying to take that strength curve and kind of even it out. So if you look at someone lifting a weight, it's kind of weak in the beginning, then it's strong in the middle and then weak at the end. And that's usually where we get our injury. So I have a lot of people, a lot of students now saying, well, I'm, I'm really, really sore after yard work. And that's because they're not used to working in different positions at the end range of motion. Okay, squeeze the glutes, pelvis comes forward. Nice job, Jeannie, you look very straight. Straight and stable. Okay, and sit down and take a break. And we're gonna start getting into the fun stuff. Zoom people, if you have a minivan, which is one of these, and you have a minivan, excellent. <laughs> okay, so. The updated business cards I handed out, you have my email, my cell number, my book information, and my website information. Uh, website is interesting. It's been up two and a half months now. I'm getting a bunch of kids from Europe and India as well. So I'll probably start doing some remote online things. When I start putting exercise videos on there, I will let you guys know. Okay, so that way you can have this come your way. What's that? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna have our mini band on right above the knee on both legs. Beautiful. And let's get behind the chairs, please. And the first thing we're going to do is the hydrant. So we'll hold on to the chair for balance, either in the back or on the side. The leg going back remains straight. Okay, so do not flex the knee. Coming back and hold. Initially, contract the glute a little bit and then it will fire on its own. So you want to hold that. The right leg back and hold. leg, straight leg, bring it back. This glute contracting. I just want to take a little off. Okay, good. You want to try to bring the leg straight back as opposed to out to the side like this. Because if we go straight back, we're working the glute maximus. If we start going out like this, we're working different hip external rotators. We just want to work the glute. Okay, other side. Everyone feel your glutes becoming active? <laughs> yes, so oh, yes. Okay, left foot, the left side. Right side. And left side. Okay, take a break, you can stand behind your chair. One of the things we're gonna be doing in the next program, which you will like, I was talking about connecting the upper body to the lower body. I've been doing a movement to work what is called the transverse abdominis, which is a muscle that goes all the way around the core. It's our human girdle. I have lost an inch off my waist in three days. 
not because of any diet, but simply because I've activated this muscle. So now it's tightening and pulling in like a girdle as if so. The perfect test will be Thanksgiving. I don't know if we're having anybody over yet. We haven't decided. But if I eat a big Thanksgiving meal, normally my stomach does this. So I'm going to actively work the transverse abdominis before Thanksgiving and see if it stays tight even after the meal. That's going to be a perfect test. Plus, it gives me an excuse to eat way more than I should because I'm doing it for science. <laughs> you what? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah. And some women, I have to punch that body, you know, be building that muscle, you know, the athletic team is being built. I bet. So she had to do a lot of physical, you know, exercise, muscle strengthening and everything, and she did, you know, get it there. Mm -hmm. That's why I think one of the reasons why I'm going to do the Okay. To go underneath the transverse yeah. abdominis. Yeah. And it's interesting, your transverse abdominis as a woman, once you become pregnant, starts to loosen up anyway yeah. to make room for the baby. Yeah. Okay. Hydrants again, please. Right foot or right leg. Try to keep the foot straight. Hip if the foot is out. Go right, right side. Every glutes activating. Yeah. <laughs> okay, other side. Just during the day. <laughs> Never. Especially with the band. Okay, you guys can take a seat, have a break, grab some water. Next class, if you wouldn't mind Putting your hanging your coat over there. That way, when you're standing behind the chair, I can see how your feet and hips are moving. The coat is not in the way. So. How is everyone feeling? Any pain? Shoulder. Interesting you say that. So the pain is different than when you came in. A little, okay. I have a shoulder issue. I was doing some work and I felt a shift right here on the left side. We have, if you're familiar with fascia, it's connective tissue. We have nine fascial lines throughout the body. It's like netting throughout the body. So this particular fascia line called the posterior oblique swing starts here, goes over the left glute and crosses the mid back up into the right shoulder. So once this shifted down here, my right shoulder started feeling better. I'm trying to put together some movements that seniors can do to address that. So it's like we have an X in the front of fascia and an X in the back of fascia. So if we have an issue down here with this side, we can also have an issue on the opposite side. So if I can figure out how to address that as seniors, because a lot of the stuff I'm doing for it now are on the floor, which obviously we can't do in class, but I should be able to figure out something and we'll see how that works with your shoulder. Okay. Exactly. So Zoom people, she mentioned that her right lower back and left shoulder have issues and that is the X going across with that fascial sling. It's interesting how everything is connected. Okay, we are going to get behind the chair, please. We're gonna be doing the lateral walk. Band in the same spot above the knees. Do not do this fast. 
because obviously we're walking to side to side, which we never do in real life. And we definitely never do it with a resistance band on. So get nice and stable, long steps, slow to the side. Good, any balance issues? Okay, other, other direction. Now this one, you're gonna be feeling more on the side of the glutes and the hip as opposed to the back. Beautiful, other direction. Let me know when it starts to burn. I know you'll let me know. <laughs> I can see the curse words through the mask. <laughs> yes, nice long steps, good. Yep, yep. So once again, when the next program where we're gonna connect the upper body to the lower body, this is gonna become so strong through here, connecting here to here, that your balance is gonna be much better. Yeah. It's like when you stand on the purple disc yeah. and your balance is off and then you tighten the glutes and the abs and your stability is better, same principle. Okay, a few more of the lateral walk, please. Nice job, Natalie. Good stretch on the band. The chair and take a break, please. Your calves tightening up. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Another 20 minutes, everything's on fire. Okay, anybody have any pain? Anything I need to be aware of? Okay, lateral walk again, long and slow. Keep your balance. I can't believe it. After over a year of telling Natalie to slow down, she's almost there. Not quite, but. Yeah. Natalie, try to straighten up a little bit through here, please. Yeah. Remember the brace? Yeah. Try it with the brace. Sure. See how it's different with the brace? Okay, so every, I want you to think about being punched in the stomach, okay? Nice and tight through here. Now do the lateral walk, staying tight. Feel the difference? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Once again, we're connecting the upper body to the lower body. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely pay attention. <laughs> okay, you guys can sit down and take a break, please. Everyone feeling the glutes? Excellent, excellent. So there's a tech program here after this? Yeah. As far as working yeah. laptops, phones, things of that nature? Yeah. Yeah, I should definitely stay for that. Technology wise, I'm barreling head on into the 80s. Yeah. No. Zoom people, if you would like copies of the homework, you can email me at Steve Avellino, A V E L L I N O, at yahoo.com, and I'll send you a copy of the homework. Okay, let's stand up. We're going to do monster walks, please.
Okay, so the monster walk is spreading the band and stepping forward and then backwards. Keep the band spread. Excellent monster walk. Now backwards, go slow backwards because that's not the way we usually move. We don't want anybody to lose your balance. Okay, forwards. Excellent monster walk. You're definitely what? Exactly, exactly. The one of the students just mentioned that she's definitely strengthened this area and her posture in the last few weeks of this program. You're absolutely right. So ideally we wanna get you back to the age of like seven where you can just run out in the backyard and start doing cartwheels. Don't challenge me. I'll put you on a program to do that. <laughs> okay. Take a break. Stay standing, please. I, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Most people are in crazy shape. Plus, they're able to, their movement pattern because so some of the things that I've seen on there, obviously it's not the way we move during the day. Yeah. So one of the students just mentioned the Ninja Warrior show. If you'd like, I can put you on a program if, if you wanna go for the show. <laughs> Okay, monster walk, please. Stretch the band. Short steps, so we're going forward. So we're not, not doing too short because we want maybe to lengthen a little bit because you're gonna feel it more in the glutes. Does everybody feel this in the glutes? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Forwards, widen the band a little bit, Natalie. There you go. And back. Okay, you guys can have a seat and take off the band, please. And we'll give you a couple minutes break. I actually keep the bands because we're going to use them again. Nice try. <laughs> He's like, back. <laughs> we're done with the bands. No, 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 no. We're not even halfway through yet. Okay, we're going to give you another minute break. And then we're going to go to the back of the chair. We're going to do skate, which we do not do with the band. So, Zoom people. Skaters, this. So now we're working the glutes and the hips in a different plane of motion because unless you bowl, and then you only do it on one side, or you skate, you're really not going to be moving in this plane of motion. Ideally, if you were to practice these every day, eventually you can even get lower. Okay, which stretches out the whole area and we'll start changing the joint architecture of the pelvis. But for now, let's go back to the chair. We'll go to the back and let's do some skaters. Nice and slow. I can never ever get Natalie to skate slow. It just doesn't happen. Have you ever considered speed skating in the Olympics? No. <laughs> oh. You're doing it right. 
Okay, do a few more of these and take a break, and then we're going to try them. Brace. Does it feel tight on the left side? Okay. You go a lot further back with the right foot than you do with the left. Just let it happen naturally. Okay, take a break, but stay at the chair, please. Any pain? Uh, no. Muscle. Mm -hmm. Okay, now brace through the abdomen. Okay, so kind of semi tighten this area and now do the skaters again and let me know what you feel. Nice and tight through here. You're going much deeper, much deeper. Okay. You know why? She holds on with her left arm. She doesn't go as deep. The brain kind of protecting this area. Saying, okay, don't push it too much. All the time, if you have a toothache on the right side, your brain's not going to let you chew on the right side. Okay, chew on the left. Okay, nice and braced. Let's do some skaters. We're nice and tight through here. I notice that when I'm braced through here during the skater, I don't kind of collapse forward. Now you're getting even more of a workout through here. Okay, you guys can have a seat and take a break. We are halfway through, so we're gonna take two or three minutes to break. Yep. I see that all the time in the gym. People getting the break. And then I see it a lot with my students. Pretty much everybody over the age of 90, and I probably worked with maybe 50 to 60 people over the age of 90. Only two of them, I can see them take deep breaths. The other ones I can't because the intercostal muscles between the ribs have kind of shortened and gotten brittle, and now they can't take deep breaths. But I have a program for that as well. But as long as you stay active and you're moving, being braced helps. Uh, you can keep these muscles from becoming adaptively shortened, and then you gotta take a deep breath and you can't, because the rib cage can't expand like it used to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Different theories on that. I used to study this guy, Wim Hof. I do his cold therapy methods, but I mean, he can swim under the ice for seven minutes on one breath. Okay. But when I was doing his breathing programs, I got to the point, I think my max was I was able to fully exhale, lie down and not take, I didn't take a breath for like three minutes or 14 seconds. But he's got it to the point where his immune system. I mean, they can, they can put 
blocks of ice up here. Yeah. He's been doing it for years, yes. And when he first attended, now he's giving lectures at Stanford and the University of Chicago. They have them all wired up with computers to see what's happening with his body doing these things. hot and a minute of freezing cold and I do three cycles of that and last year it dropped my resting heart rate which is good because then my my heart was beating a little slower and it you know, things I do Still not, still not touching. There you go. So I don't. You can spread the feet out further if you want. Okay. Heel squeeze. Activate the glutes, please. Relax. Heel squeeze. I have a question. Yes. Is this uh, exercise, can you do a bare feet or, or, or prefer you do everything in bare feet? Bare feet? Yeah. Oh. Because if you have a heel on the shoe, it's going to change the way your pelvis sits. So I always wear flat wrestling shoes. Well, not always, because it affects my Achilles tendon, because my Achilles tendon isn't used to the foot being at that angle. So if I wear flat wrestling shoes three or four days in a row, I can feel the Achilles kind of fighting it. So then I'll wear a shoe with maybe a bit of a heel on it. But if you think about it, if you're wearing high heels and you're up like this, your pelvis now has to do this to keep you balanced. And you can feel that right in the lower back instantly. Okay, heel squeeze, please. Heels aren't touching. <laughs> Maybe she should go up here. No? Yeah, as long as it's not. Yeah, so now you'll be able to feel. So the I heels aren't touching. I can see air through there. I can see light. There you go. I feel much better. Okay, yeah. I try to be barefoot as much as possible, the way we were meant to be. I think it was the invented shoes. I'd like to go back and find him. Okay, one more heel squeeze, please. Okay, now we'll spread and we're gonna do the glute squeeze. Squeeze the glutes hard, the pelvis comes forward. You'll feel your abdominals start to activate. You're feeling the abdominals. I could see your shirt move as soon as you did it. So relax, squeeze. See how your shirt goes in? Yeah, I can see it from here. So when she does the, the glute squeeze in this position, pelvis comes forward, but the shirt right here goes in because you're pulling in the abdominals. You can try it here. Relax. Squeeze. It's funny watching the classes because every time I say squeeze, this happens. And all it is is the abdominals fire. Relax. Okay, you can have a seat, put on the bands, please. If you have taken your shoes off, be careful with sliding during some of these movements.
<laughs> may help with skating. They actually go right across the road. Okay, we are going behind the chairs for hydrants, please. Once again, the hydrants, straight leg all the way back, hold, keep the foot straight, please. That way we're strictly working the glute maximus. So at this point in time, your glute should feel very active to the point of maybe getting fatigued or maybe even a little burning. That's just lactic acid buildup. Okay, other side. How's the shoulder? So sore? As soon as I figure out how to fix mine, we'll fix yours. <laughs> Other side. So Jeannie, you're feeling more stable because you're only holding on with one hand now. Before you were holding with two. And that's simply because this area has become active, okay? And the brain realizes that. Other side. Try to make the foot straighter, Natalie. No, other way. There you go. If the foot is straight, you're working the glute max more. If the foot is out, you're working more of the hip. Okay, take a break, but stay standing, please. You should be feeling that big time in here. So it's on the left side. Yeah, it's the same side. Which hand were you reaching with? Right, because you're right handed. That was the X. Remember the X I was telling you about? Same thing. Opposite sides. I got to do some more study on that. Okay, take a break for 30 seconds, and we're going to go into monster walks. You forget, you know, that you're doing something that's contrary to what you're doing. Right. Because you know, I had like a step to like learn how to, you know, do any steps to that I just forgot it. Right. Yeah. So that's going to be the crux of the next program yeah. is when you're in those positions where we're not strong in those positions because we're never in those positions. Okay, so if we can figure out how to be at the end range of motion in different positions and work in those end ranges of motion, then we're stronger, we're more mobile, more flexible, and less chance of reaching the back seat of the car to pick up a pocketbook and all of a sudden your shoulder has like a lot of pain in it. Okay, now we're doing monster walks, please. You're going forward, beautiful. And then backwards.
This would make a great Halloween video. You guys could be the backup people on Michael Jackson's Thriller. <laughs> Spread the band a little bit more, Natalie. Good. Okay, now get to the back. Repeat these three movements, but we're gonna repeat them braced, nice and tight through here. Brace, back and hold, come down, rebrace, back and hold. Excellent. Excellent. So overtake the brace, be nice and tight in here. Okay, go guys. Right foot. You doing the hydrant, Natalie? Yeah, hold on to the chair. You always like to frighten me. Nice and brace through here. Left side. Feel a difference when you're braced? Okay, right side, Janice. You're nice and tight here. Left side. Right side, nice and braced. So you can see how braced you are, but you were practicing that from the room. Need that call because I go. Damn, I get all. Right. But I can, I can apply the brace so that I. Can and again, we're connecting the lower body to the upper body, yeah. and it's actually side joint, your sacro sacroiliac joint. To the lower body. So the next program we're going to be doing work for that joint as well. Okay, Jeannie, nice and bright, nice and tight through here. Good. Other side. Now, one thing you may find when you're braced, it doesn't seem like you're going back as far. And the reason is when you're not braced, you're getting a lot of maybe rotational movements. When you're braced, you're taking away that. All you can do is go backwards. Okay, go ahead. Good. Other side, nice and braced. Okay, take a break, but stay standing. Yeah, by the end of the next program, you're going to be able to lie down and take a quarter and just bounce it right in your glutes. <laughs> I won't tell Ed. He'll be throwing coins at you all the time. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Okay, now I'm going to do the lateral walk braced. Okay. So get your brace nice and tight and then slowly lateral walk. When you get to the end of this side, stop, rebrace. And then go in the other direction. So right now I can see Natalie brace. First of all, her shirt goes way in, which is awesome. But second of all, every time you brace and do it, you're tall. So once again, throughout the different programs, we want to connect the upper body with the lower body. And then it's cartwheel time. Can you imagine Sherry looking through the door and you guys are doing cartwheels across the room? <laughs> you have a heart attack. How are your glutes and hips feeling? Tired. Tired? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, now take a break for 30 to 60 seconds and then we're going monster walks with a brace. You know, what movie was that? Joe Pesci and Goodfellas. You talking to me? I was like, whoa. 
<laughs> okay, come off a monster walk. Big brace, nice and slow. Forwards, really good. You're holding your brace better now. Backwards, hold the brace. Okay, stop, reset the brace, and forwards. Got the band squid. You're all ready to collect everybody's bands and bring them up here. I'll come down and get them. Well, I'll come down and get them. Okay. Oh, if you want to do more exercise. That's hers. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, you may notice that. What's that? You can do. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you'll feel, I'll have some people going through different programs that, first of all, I can see, first of all, because the band is getting really stretched because they're getting stronger through here. Uh, and then pe some people will ask for a stronger band. So the next one are the greens, which are really strong. So the greens are a lot stronger than the yellows. And at this point in time, I don't necessarily want to use a band that's too strong because we don't want to affect the joints. You know? Yep. But after a while, you're going to realize that this is getting much easier. Yeah. And then we can start talking about going up to another band. Okay, let's get behind the chairs, please, for skaters. Great. We've got nine to ten minutes left. We're going to burn here last week, and you were here last week. And they came in and they said, oh, cool, this is a semi-private lesson, but because there were less people, they had to okay. That's absolutely beautiful, Janet. You're going deep, okay, be careful there. You're going deeper there, but I can see you're straight right through here. But just take it nice and slow. Good job, Jeannie. Nice and tight through here. When you feel you start to lose the brace, stop and rebrace, because it's hard to stay braced the whole time. You may want to do one each side, stop, rebrace, one each side. You're going to slow it down a little bit because you're going much deeper. Natalie's like a ninja. <laughs> okay, stand up the chairs, take a break. What we're going to do this time, we're holding on to the chair. I'm going to try to keep the foot straight. Try not to have the toes point out. And we're just nice and easy bringing the leg up. OK? Nice and slow. Keep the toes. See how your toes are going out to the side? Try to keep them straight in. There you go. Feel the difference? If the toes are straight in, we're hitting what is called the gluteus medius. If the toes are out, we're hitting another muscle that we don't necessarily want to hit because it's overactive already. 
it's, it's harder. So you, with the foot straight, you cannot go out as far, but that's okay. All right, and other side. Focus on keeping the feet straight. It's gonna make the movement shorter, but that's okay. So your right side, you have more external hip rotation on the right side, so your feet go up. But don't worry, that's normal. Okay, now nice and braced and dry. Feel a difference? It's harder. Right, once you brace through here, it makes, it doesn't, it, it makes the movements harder initially, but not necessarily over time because then your body's gonna be used to being in this position. When you're in this position, your spine is longer, everything's gonna be moving better, and the body is gonna key on it, key in on it, because this is the way we used to stand when we were kids. We didn't have to think about it. So why not get it back? You know, if you can stand like a seven-year-old, that go for it all day long. Yeah. Walking the rest, you know, look now, like, straight. Yep. Right. Right, exactly. So it's just like going to the gym. You can go to the gym for two months and make gains and then take three months off and you lose it all. So this is really something that needs to be a lifestyle. Like I have. I think it's 16, I, I don't even know because I don't have to look at my sheet anymore. I think I have 16 movements I do every morning when I get out of bed. Uh, actually, no, it takes me 16 minutes, so I'd have to count how many movements, maybe a dozen or so. Yeah. And after I'm done, I feel great, you know? But I know that if I just spend the 16 minutes every morning or every other morning, I'm gonna age a lot better than if I did. I could do that routine with you, but probably three quarters of it is on the floor. Oh, oh. So. So I'll on the floor. Now, what I can do is I can incorporate some of it in next program's homework where you can do it on the bed. Okay. Works for you guys. Okay. Now, I have a lot of people that will wake up in the morning. You know how we do the glute squeezes? Yeah. Wake up in the morning and do five to 10 glute squeezes before they even get out of bed. Because then they get out of bed. This one woman I was working with yesterday, she says, you know, she'll get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. And that's normally the time when she falls. Because, first of all, you're not all together if you wake up at three in the morning, right? Or at least I'm not. And second of all, you kind of stiff, functioning properly. So she wakes up at three in the morning, she uses the bathroom, she does five. And then she's much more stable. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's just burn out the glutes. People love it when they say that. They are already burning. Nice embrace in the abdomen. So do one each side and then reset the brace. Perfect.
it's interesting how things change from day to day. There could have been a movement that you did last week, could have been the way you slept last night. Okay, so there again, once I'm hearing this all the time, yard work, yard work, yard work. Because once again, in yard work, you're working in different planes of motion than you normally do when you're in the house. Okay, nice and braced. We've got two minutes. And you guys are gonna have boots of steel. Keep going, keep going. We've got one minute. That's right. <laughs> Janet, slow it down, please. You're scaring me. But you're going much deeper. That's incredible. Jeannie's going deeper. Seconds. Do two and then place. Twenty seconds. Let's go. It's like you're in boot camp. I do a boot camp program. I just started in a box pro. What is that? The boot camp? It was by see you. <laughs> I showed up in camouflage was boot camp, and they the class surprised me, and they all showed up in camouflage class. Okay, guys, so you can have a seat. The glutes feel good about hips and lower back. Everything feels good, but tired. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is, we start the new program December 1st, I believe. Right, okay. So we'll see you next week. And then for those of you who signed up for the program December 1st, we're going to be connecting the upper body to the lower body, and we're going to be working in areas where our joints are the weakest and make those areas stronger. It's still 9.30, yes. Okay, so we'll see you next week.